So what we're going to do in lesson five, representing uh, exponential decay, is we're going to look at patterns in a table. So we need to use the patterns that we notice uh, to complete the table. So if I look here, the x variable is increasing by 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 25. And then here for table B, again, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 25, not 5. And then I need to look at, well, how is it increasing? So here to go from 2.5 to 10, we increase by, and you can just subtract. So 10 minus 2.5 gives us 7.5. And then the same thing here, 17.5 minus 10. That's again, 7.5. And then 25 minus 17.5 is again 7.5. So when you're increasing by 7.5 every time um, for y, every time x increases by 1, this is going to be a linear pattern. So what I can do is write an equation. So I know right now that M, the slope, is 7.5. And then the y-intercept is the initial value of y when x is 0. So B is equal to 2.5. So my equation would be y equals 7.5 times your x value plus 2.5. And now I can use that equation to solve for y when x is 4 and when x is 25. So you go y equals 7.5 times 4 plus 2.5. And that gives us 32.5. Then here, y equals 7.5 times 25 plus 2.5. And there we get 190. Now this equation is different. We go from 2.5 to 10 to 40 to 160. So what I notice is we're not just adding every time. And here, if I multiply 10 by 4, we get 40. If I multiply 40 uh, by 4, I get 160. So we're multiplying by a factor of 4 because 2.5 times 4 And by all of these, uh, gets us the next number. So for an exponential function, remember our equation is of the form y equals a times b to the x. And a is our initial value. And that is when x equals 0. And b is our growth or decay factor. So in this situation, the initial value, A, equals 2.5. When x is 0, we start at 2.5. And our growth factor, what we multiply by, is 4. So my overall equation, then, would be y equals 2.5. And I'm going to put parentheses for time, so you could put a dot. So times 4. And then I'm going to put to the x power. You can put it on the inside or the outside of the parentheses. And now what I'm going to do is substitute uh, 4 in for x and then substitute 25 in for x. So y equals 2.5 times 4 to the fourth. Which gives us 640. And then substituting 25 there, so y equals 2.5 times 4 to the 25. Note that this is going to be really big because 4 to the 25th power is very large. Sometimes that might be more than a calculator can display. Um, but in scientific notation, this means 2 point, and I'm going to put 8, 1. 
And then that e to the 15 means times 10 to the 15th power. The uh, number became so large that you had to use scientific notation to describe it.